Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Quest VII. Let's go ahead and visit this pedestal. And take us back to that island with all of these stone statues. Oh, come on, game. Oh. <laughs> it's literally up to <laughs> the diagonal left. Why do you not let me do that? Oh. Take me back there, please. <laughs> the doctor's like, didn't I just see you guys come through here? Sorry. There we go. Alright, back up to the uh, town. Hey, Alda, I don't like having to st say this, but what if these people, these are real people who've been turned to stone? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's what it looks like. Alda inspects the statues. There is an engraving on the base of the statue. Okay. Can I read it? No, apparently not. A farmer has turned to stone. His body has eroded from long exposure to the elements. Ooh. All inspected the statue. A little girl has turned to stone. Her body has eroded from long exposure to the elements. This is, seems bad. A priest has turned to stone, and the same thing. Got those red dots on the side again for some reason. Alright, we can use this if I wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to right now. Yes, I will continue adventuring. Nothing back behind the building. Do you have anything over here? Okay, there's some stairs up. Something odd about that wall, but let's not look at that yet. And there's someone who's alive. Let's not talk to him yet. We, we, have, uh, we have statues to look at, buildings to look at. We should probably do those in some sort of order. There's a bed. It looks as though it would be alright for you to rest here. Do you want to rest? No. Alright, so we could rest for free. Nothing back there. A woman has turned to stone. Her body has eroded from long exposure to the elements. How long has this been? A young man has toned, turned to stone, and uh, the same thing has happened. Oh, that's an old woman. A gigantic rock stands here. A beautiful woman has turned to stone. Her body has eroded from long exposure to the elements. How do I know she's beautiful, then? Nothing in the pot. Nothing useful there. What? You found the leather hat. All obtained the leather hat. I do appreciate finding uh, stuff that I can sell. Can't do anything with that. Nothing behind this building. This uh, bridge is uh, collapsed. I'll check the bookshelf. Uh, there is a book called Rain Prayers of the World. It contains a wide variety of methods for making rain. Oh good, I can be the rainmaker. I wonder if it talks about blessing the rains down in Africa. There were no special books there. What? You found the cloth shirt! I'll obtain the cloth shirt! And nothing useful. I 
get to the pot. Oh, I can't get to the pot. Okay, nothing in that room. Alright, let's go up here then. All inspected the statue. A middle-aged man has turned to stone. His body is eroded from long exposure to the elements. Alt obtained seven gold. I oh, can't break that one. So this is a bar of some sort, apparently. It's interesting that everyone who uh, has been turned to stone has been outside. I wonder what's, what's up with that. Alt obtained ten gold. And this guy's actually blocking that door. It's gonna make it hard to get in there. A middle-aged man has turned to stone. His body is a root from long exposure to the elements. Okay. Let's not walk on the poisoned ground. Look at that odd wall in a bit once I talk to this guy. Hello? Fine, I'll do it this way. Well, now, this is unusual indeed, finding travelers in a place like this. My eyes may be failing me, but I can tell that you are people of no small importance. So what business could you possibly have in a backwater town such as ours? There are lots of things that we still don't understand, but all tells the old man about their journeys. What? So you're going to go back in time and restore the lost world to its original state? Well, please forget about this town. I fear it's too late for us now. As you can see, the people of this town have all turned to stone. There remain no methods by which this terrible curse might be lifted. I intend to sit here and observe the demise of this town. Please, take your travels elsewhere. That's terrible. Don't give up, man. Oh, that reminds me. Wait here just a moment, travelers. Okay. If you intend to continue your journey, then take this with you. Ald got a small, shiny bottle. This is Angel Tear, a legendary potion that can heal people who have been turned to stone. Alas, I acquired this potion too late. By the time I had obtained it, well, look for yourself. The people in this town have been mercilessly assailed by the elements. One can no longer tell what they originally looked like anymore. With their bodies in this condition, the Angel Tear will have no effect on them. The townspeople must despise me. In fact, at night... Oh, uh, please forget I said anything. This village may be dark even now, but the surrounding area gets even darker after nightfall. If you plan to stay in this village, take care that you do not venture out at night. My apologies for holding you back. Leave here now. No, I refuse. I'm looking into the well. Can't stop me. Oh. <sighs> Disappointing. Let's not go that way. See if there's anything else out here. Alright, so he told us not to stay the night. So let's make like Benjamin Orr. And stay the night. All awakens to the sound of a sad cry from outside. Could that have been the old man? Yeah, they're both sleeping soundly. Uh, they're all glowing. Alt inspected the statue. The stone statue gives off a faint light, as if it's trying to tell you something. The light from the stat statue begins to grow stronger. It's you, Clayman. Are you going off to get supplies for the town? Yes, I'll get the usual foods and as much water as I can carry. You know, for years we've prayed for rain, but it's never rained once. 
God won't forsake us. This year we'll get rain for sure. Mm, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, I'd better go now if I want to be back in time for the rain prayers. I hear the monsters have started to appear outside. Please be careful. There actually aren't any monsters outside right now. The statue has stopped giving off light. Well, let's see what the uh, priest has to say. It's unusual seeing you coming to pray at such a time as this, Millie. Yes, I'm here to pray for the safety of a certain important person on his journey. Oh, I see. So, you've come to pray for God to protect someone. Yes, thank you. Oh God, please protect him. Please protect my precious Clayman. Dear God, please let me be the one to marry Millie. Clayman's not returning on time could be the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, that's terrible. That guy should feel bad. Alright, what about this little girl? That's all the same text every time, so I'm not going to read it again. Hmm. Now all I have to do is write this down. I'll just slip this note inside a book. You're marking the wall. That's not allowed, you know. You idiot, keep it down. You're not supposed to mark on the walls. It's okay, it's a guide marker. I discovered another one. It's even more incredible than the last one. By the last one, do you mean that secret base? That's right. It's such an amazing discovery. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Come over during the rain prayer. If you're late, I'll go on ahead to the base. Uh, okay. Okay, see you tomorrow. Don't be late. I don't remember seeing a little boy around here. Hmm. Let's see what uh, your story is, sir. Finally, the rain prayers are about to begin. Without the rain, the vegetables won't grow. My future in farming looks bleak. Whoa, jeez. Kid just knocked him down. Oh, mister, sorry. No, oh, don't worry. I just broke my hip is all. A town with healthy children has a bright future. Now oh, you better wear your shades. Statue has stopped giving off light. Okay, I cannot read the, the engraving. Let's see what uh, you have to say, lady. That's weird. Where'd he go? Is Joseph here? Actually, Rena, I'm looking for him too, but he isn't anywhere to be found. I told him to stay home and help prepare for the prayer, but now he's scampered off. Oh, I know. Uh, maybe. Oops. Do you think you know where he might be? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I just don't know. Oh well. If you see him, tell him to come home, okay? Okay, I'll tell him. Ah, so that must be Joseph's house up there. The statue has stopped giving off light. Gigantic Rock does not have anything to say.
Maybe I'm imagining it, but it looks like the water god is smiling. And I bet this year our prayers for rain will be answered. Clayman went to buy provisions. If it rains, I'll use this chance to get close to Millie. Mm, I'm looking forward to praying for rain. You're a terrible person, sir. Talk to all of you. Let's see what the beautiful woman has to say. I wonder if this is Millie or if the other woman is Millie. Ah, this must be Millie. What's taking him so long? Sorry, I'm late. Please excuse me. That's okay. It's just... Anyway, have you decided what you're what we're going to do? I've decided that I'll be the one to go to get supplies this year, as usual, after all. No way! There are monsters out there right now. The town couldn't survive if anything happened to you. And that's just it. We live in a poor town where we can't even grow our own vegetables. Someone has to go out and get supplies for the town, no matter how dangerous it may be. I should go, because I can fight better than anyone else, even if only a little. Am I wrong? N no, of course not. I know all that. Really, I do, but... And I've decided something else as well. When I finish shopping, I'll tell the whole town about our marriage. What do you say? Clayman, that makes me happy, but... Right. Now that that's settled, you don't need to worry about me. I'll come back safely, I promise. Yes, I know. Just be careful. I said that I promise. I'll be back around the time of the rain prayer. Okay, then. So long. Clayman, come back safely. Why did they have to have a secret marriage? Okay, he is there. I don't want to go talk to him just yet. There's no one around there. Let's talk to this guy first. Alt inspected the statue. Middle-aged man has turned to stone. Hey, Dad, would you tell me something? Oh, sure, if I can. Do you know what this town used to be like, Dad? What did this town used to be like? I'm not really sure. Come to think of it, I've never really heard anything about it. Bartender, do you know anything about the history of this town? I figured you'd know if anyone. I've only heard idle talk myself, but it seems that this area was once a battlefield. From what I understand, after the original town was destroyed, our ancestors drew together and built a new village on the same site. Anyway, they find old things buried in the ground from time to time. Well, there you have it. But why are you interested in such things? It's just something I've been wondering about, that's all. I get reflective sitting here drinking with you, Dad. Hmm? You're a strange kid. You really remind me of me. You really remind me of someone. Uh, who is it? It does resemble a certain so closely resemble a certain someone. It's spooky. Hey, bartender, did you say something just now? No, no, I didn't say anything. Really? I could have sworn I heard something. Well, I am going to go out and play now, Dad. Yeah, it's just about time for the rain prayer to start. Don't be sneaking around too much. Okay. Hmm. So that's the bartender. That must mean that this is uh, Joseph's father. Let's see what he has to share. Hey, Keen, what do you say to having a little drink, seeing as how it's a rain prayer day? What do you say? Now I've had enough. Someone who makes his living selling booze has no business telling me anything. Fine, I'm going to be joining the rain prayer myself, so I'm closing up shop now. Okay, I'll see you down there. Yep, they're at it again, every year. Hats off to them. How can prayer make it rain? Well, 
It's raining. Amazing. It's really raining. What's with this rain? It's awfully muddy. What the hell? Am I dreaming this? Is this a nightmare? People are turning to stone. Honey, Joseph! The statue has crumbled completely. Oh. Well... Uh, whenever we find Joseph, uh, it's gonna be bad news for him. Let's go talk to the old guy. Oh, it's you, travelers. I thought you had left already. You should have left already. I take it that you've seen the glowing forms of the villagers turned statues. I believe that glow is their spite for me radiating from their cold stone forms. Let me tell you a little of the history of this town. This area has always been in a perpetual drought. Once a year, all of the townspeople would gather and pray for rain. When their prayers were finally answered on that fateful day 50 years ago, I had gone off to a distant town to purchase supplies. While I was on my way back, I saw a dark, ominous purple cloud settle over the village. Soon it began to rain a chilling, cursed gray rain. I hurried home, but when I finally arrived, it was too late. All I could do was weep into the damp earth. How I wish that I too could have joined them in the rain's kiss 50 years ago. Okay. So their prayers were answered in not the way they wanted. Well, let's head in here. Alt checked the bookshelf. Uh, there were no special books. Alt searched the bookshelf. Alt found a note written in childish handwriting in between two books. Will you read it? Why, yes, I will. After finding the secret base, I made another great discovery. I can't believe the town has a place like this. The entrance is under the pointed tree near, the, near my markings on the cliff. The second place is underground beneath the bar where my father likes to go. Okay, so we got some underground uh, places. So those are the markings. Let's go see what those actually say. Ald reads the marks on the wall. It says landmark. <laughs> Ald searches thoroughly around his feet. When you pound on the ground, it seems it sounds hollow. It is dark, however, and you cannot see very well. Okay. Let's go uh, back and finish sleeping then. Yeah, let's go to bed. Well, guys, you will never believe what I found last night while you were busy sleeping and snoring. What's this? You have found a staircase leading down. It's got a wooden floor. Alright, nothing to uh, break or anything here. A painting is displayed on the wall. Alright, we've got stairs down there. Let's see where this goes. Oh! Interesting. I wonder if that was supposed to be a chimney at some point. Pot! I'll obtain five gold. What? You found the herb. Keeper obtained the herb. Appears to be it there. Ald reads the writing on the posted notice. It says, Secret Base Number Two. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, we did get the angel tier, and we're up high. And put these things in the bag. Kiefer, use the angel tier. Hopefully, these people are not so far gone that, uh... They can't return to normal. Oh. Huh? Okay, so... He may have been underground and thus uh, saved from the... Uh, the erosion. It's still... That's, that's gonna be pretty awful. <laughs> Bringing him back to life and everyone else is... Uh, still a stone statue. What just happened? Who are you? My name is Joseph. Are any of the other townspeople around? That's odd. All the grown-ups were making a lot of fuss over the rain prayer just now. Maybe something's happened to them. Do you know anything about that? Uh, yeah, I, I do. I do. What? Everyone in town was turned to stone 50 years ago. If you're gonna joke around, you could at least come up with something funny. It really does feel as though there's no one else here, though, doesn't it? Well, look, let's go and find them. Will you and your friends help me out? Joseph joined the party. Not as an actual party member. It would be kind of funny to run around with a, uh, a kid. Okay. Are you back there? Yes, you are. So, it doesn't look like we're going to be saving everyone else. There's no, uh... No magic way to save them. You used the angel tear after all, didn't you? I thought I caught its faint scent in the air. That was foolish of you. Although, come to think of it, it's getting lighter. No, that can't be. My eyesight must finally be fading, too. Who's that old guy? Who is that? Have I seen you somewhere before? Yeah, I think you have. Wait, there's no need to answer that. That voice, I remember it well. It's the son of Keen, Joseph. Yeah. But how? Where have you been all this time? In my secret base underground. Underground? So that's how you were kept safe from the merciless elements. This is truly a miracle. Thanks to you, travelers, Dialak is no longer dead. It has the opportunity for life once more. You never gave up. You used the angel tear when I wouldn't. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is truly the happiest day of my life. Come, travelers, and celebrate this new life with me. Having found a new hope, missing H, the light of the of life returns to the old man's face, right before your eyes. There's no one left anymore. The boy at last begins to recognize the truth of the situation. The old man says that he wants to take care of Joseph, who seems to have taken to the old man himself, who is Clayman, of course. And then dawn broke. And the horror of the situation reasserted itself on Joseph's mind. Words cannot express the depth of my gratitude to you. We will soon embark on a journey ourselves to warn those who live in ignorance of the terrible gray rain. On that journey, I will search for a way to turn these townspeople back to the way they were. Should that prove impossible, though, 
I know that this town will still live on, as long as Joseph and I survive. Thank you very much, travelers. Once again, you have my profound gratitude. We too will be leaving on a journey soon. I intend to teach others of the horrors of the Grey Rain. Are you leaving already? It would have been fun to journey with you. Old Man Clayman seems so lonely, though, and I really want to restore the townspeople. I suppose you'll be lonely without me, too, but please don't be mad, okay? Yeah, also, sorry about killing your dad. Like, because we did. He disintegrated at my touch. What? You found the land shard! All obtained the land shard! Ald reads the writing on the posted notice. It says, Secret Base Number One. Well, I feel kind of awful, actually. I mean, it's great that the little kid is, the little boy's restored, and the old man is uh, feeling reinvigorated, but, uh. I mean. His wife, up here, if he does restore her, he'll be an old man, she'll still be a young woman, 50 years older than her. He, he was when she, they last, when she last, rem, last remembers him. His dad's dead. Yeah, let's just leave now. <laughs> let's get this, let's get out of here. Oh my god. That is... That is heart-wrenching. Right, let's go uh, pay a visit to the map room. Oh, I saw something on the uh, wall over there. Hmm, I don't really see it on this map. Maybe it's too small? Oh, no, no, it's right there. Holy cow, that's just... That's just a couple pixels. Okay. Well, um... We are going to uh, head back and get some sailing. We'll head over there uh, next time. See what is going on with the town. And then see if we can fit any of these other shards into uh, the pedestals. See you next time, everyone.